Hello, my name is Jun Lee. Today I'm going to talk about the inter between difference between the interference and the diffraction. So first, uh, before I start the between difference between the interference and diffraction, I will talk about the what is interference. In so interference is the phenomenon where waves meet each other and combine additively or subtractively to form composite waves. It is resulting from a superposition of waves, and they can have different amplitudes, frequencies, or phases. Also, it can influence how the superposed final wave will look like. In here, the superposed final wave is the sum of all the interfering waves' amplitudes. Interfering waves don't need to be spherical or originate from the same source. If at any point of space-time, some waves of some kind coming from wherever will meet, they will interfere in some way or another depending on their parameters. So now second, I will talk about what is diffraction. So, the friction is the tendency of a wave emitted from a finite source or passing through a finite aperture to spread out as it propagates. Diffraction results from the interference of an infinite number of waves emitted by a continuous distribu distribution of source points. It occurs when a wave encounters an obstacle or a slit. These characteristic behaviors are exhibited when a wave encounters an obstacle or a slit that is comparable in size to its wavelength. It is spreading of the beam of light as it goes through a perture or is emitted from a finite area source. It is due to the fact that the beam of light has some k-vector spectrum that has some finite width. Diffraction happens because diffraction of k-vector spectrum differ. So lastly, I will talk about the difference between interference and diffraction. The main, the main difference is the mechanism. Diffraction involves a wave and some obstacle or object which deflects the wave and or bends it. And interference involves a wave which combines with other waves. So now I will talk about the five difference between interference and diffraction. First, two separate wave fronts originating from two coherent sources produce interference. Secondary wavelets originating from different parts of the same wave front constitute diffraction. Second, the region of minimum intensity is perfectly dark in interference, but in diffraction, they are not perfectly dark. Third, the width of the fringe is equal in the interference, but in diffraction, they are never equal. Fourth, the intensity of all positions of maxima are of the, of the same intensity in interference, but in diffraction, they do vary. But lastly, when we have two infinitely narrow slits separated by a distance apart near the source, we get interference. But when we have a single slit of sinus width or whether an aperture near the source, we get diffraction. This is all for my part, and thank you for listening. is Ronald Hernandez. Today I'm going to be talking about double slit diffraction. As mentioned earlier, interference occurs when uh, two waves interact with one another and based on their interaction uh, they can either constructively interfere or destructively interfere. Um, that's just based on their interaction. Uh, diffraction on the other hand occurs when light passes through a gap and it, it diffracts around that uh, gap or hole uh, so double slit diffraction, it creates two new waves and those two new waves will eventually meet and they will either constructively interfere or destructively interfere. So uh, double slit diffraction is the combination of diffraction through the individual slits 
and interference between the two slits. When we send line waves through two slits, for example, each slit acts as a new wave source and ultimately on the screen, we'll get a pattern known as an interference pattern. These patterns are created by a combination of constructive and destructive interference. Uh, when the two new waves created are in phase, uh, meaning the crest meets the crest, uh, the result will be a bright spot. Uh, as we can see here, when the two waves meet right here, uh, right on the line, that's when they're all meeting at that one point, it creates a bright spot. However, when the two newly created waves are out of phase, uh, it creates a dark spot. And we see here, right in between the two blue lines, if you draw a line, it will go to the dark spot. Uh, so that's one of the big components of double slit diffraction. Also, uh, the reason we get the pattern of interference is because the waves are traveling at different distances throughout the screen. For example, at the center, at the center of the screen, the two waves are going are traveling at equal length, uh, which result in constructive interference creating a light spot. We see right here that when this line goes directly to this one, and this blue dot goes directly to this one, both the wavelengths are equal. So it creates a bright spot right in the middle. Um, however, a short distance away uh, from the light spot will be a dark spot because now those waves are traveling at different distances and that's due to destructive interference. Uh, this wavelength is different than this wavelength. Their difference is the lambda over 2. Um, and you see that uh, when there's that difference, they're going to destructively interfere. And then if you move a short distance again from that point, we're going to get a lambda difference, which is a complete uh, wavelength. So there we will get a light spot because of the full wavelength. Like I mentioned, since here is half a wavelength, uh, the next point will be full, uh, full wavelength. So we get this alternating interference pattern of dark and light spot caused by destructive and constructive interference. Um, this is what pretty much is happening through a double slit diffraction uh, because of the two gaps. Uh, we get um, the two new gaps act as a, as a wave source and creates two new waves. So those waves will eventually meet and like I said, wherever they meet, the, when they, whenever they are in, in phase, it's going to create a light spot and whenever they are out of phase, uh, it's going to create a dark spot. Uh, the resulting pattern is a combination of diffraction through the individual slits and interference between the two slits. Um, we noticed earlier that through a single slit diffraction, we get this um, big wave formation on the screen and then towards the end we get a smaller uh, waves towards both sides. However, on double slit diffraction, we get um, a combination of both. Uh, you can see through the data lines represents the diffraction pattern produced by each slit which are grouped in broadband. So this is one broadband and the smaller ones are grouped into another small broadband. And as we see also the thin solid fringes are due to the interference light from the two, from the two slits. So here we are able to see a little bit of both of what happens in double slit diffraction and also we see what happens in a single slit diffraction. Um, so this concludes our, our presentation. Um, thank you.